Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Serena, for those of you that may not know, and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a back to school video, and I actually haven't really done this a lot on my channel where I take you guys through the process of preparing for a new school year, for a new semester. In the past, I have done like organizing videos of like organizing my calendar and my classes and stuff like that, but I never actually showed you guys, you know, buying school supplies, going back to school shopping. So we're gonna do all that good stuff in today's video. So this is officially back to school season, which is bittersweet because I don't want to start the semester but i also love having routine and knowing that on certain days i have certain classes and certain things to do and it keeps me feeling productive and motivated but come december all that goes thrown out the door by that point i'm very stressed i'm very overwhelmed and i have this really bad habit of being such a great academic weapon the first two three months of the semester and then right around final season is when i just crash and burn it this happens every single semester i don't really know why i try my hardest to stay strong throughout the entire semester but i always 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 burn out so i'm hoping Hoping this semester is different because I am taking lighter courses and most of these classes are kind of like repeat courses but today we're starting off strong because I'm going to be going school supply shopping when I was planning this video I was thinking to myself I genuinely don't know the last time I actually went school supply shopping for myself because I've been so reliant on my laptop or my iPad because everything's digital nowadays all my assignments are through blackboard so I don't even need pencils and papers for the most part and I just like to take notes on my iPad or my laptop but like I was explaining earlier I'm really trying to personally over this entire semester and try my hardest not to burn out so i was thinking to myself how can i make sure that i don't burn out or i don't burn out as fast as i have in the past like what can i do what strategies can i change to make sure that doesn't happen because obviously what i'm doing now isn't working and i was like let me go back to my roots let me go back to what i used to do of going school supply shopping buying physical notebooks jotting ideas down on paper when i did that my freshman year of college i genuinely did good like i got all a's and i loved just putting my ideas and notes on paper it genuinely helped me we're gonna do that this semester i'm still gonna of course be utilizing my laptop and my ipad but i'm gonna take notes and stuff more so on actual notebooks on actual paper especially because not only will i be studying for my classes that i'm taking this semester i am also studying to take the entrance exam for nursing school at this school and i'll most likely take that later on this year i need to do everything in my power to make sure i'm balancing actual school studying for this entrance exam because i need to pass this entrance exam to get to this nursing program or else it's a wrap for me and that's all i'm saying i'm really trying to change my techniques and strategies this time around i want to tap into the best academic persona that i can be and i feel like this is just one way of completing that of accomplishing that then i go back to school shopping i do have a list on my phone of everything that i want to get we're either going to go to target or we're going to go to staples to get these things it's not much because like i said mainly everything is digital so i don't want to spend money on things that i know i'm not going to use so for the most part we're getting like pens pencils notebooks post-its and that's pretty much it because everything everything else I do have so it's gonna be a pretty quick shopping trip first things first I need to go ahead and wash my car because that thing is dirty and I need to go pick up my aunt because she needs help running an errand real quick so we're gonna go do those two things once I get all that situated I'll be back to talk to you guys and actually get to the school supply shopping hello good afternoon hi can I get a small mango pineapple refresher with lemonade we're and having a small mango pineapple lemonade, uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, can you make that a medium? Of course, why not? And can I add three liquid cane sugars in there? And we're having three liquid cane sugars, so let's do a medium mango pineapple lemonade and two liquid sugar, right? Yes. Uh-huh. That'll be all. All right, do you want to drive to the next one for me? Thank, Thank you. you. Seven, eight, do you have the Dunkin' half? Yes. You got the up? I was like, well, <laughs> you got the offer, right? Yeah. What are the offer? It's going to take a dollar twenty-nine off first. I'll do Apple Pay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Yo, I have not been to this area since my brothers finished school back in June. So it's weird driving in this area because I haven't been here in so long. Okay, let's see if this ATM is working. Sorry guys, y'all literally just flew to the other side of the car. My apologies, but I'm at the bank now because I told my aunt I would pick her up around 1.30 and it's 1.03, so it was like too early to pick her up. I'm just gonna take out some cash. Never have cash on me when I need it, so we just gonna take out a little bit of cash. I swear I can never reach this freaking machine from my car. It's so annoying.
Yo, I washed my car, right? Like I said I was going to. I paid $20 for them to wash my car. And it's clean, don't get me wrong. But I know for a fact, if I would've just did it myself like I usually do, it would've been a lot cleaner. The only reason why I didn't do it myself was because I wasn't gonna have the time to. And I really didn't wanna be out in the sun trying to wash my car because there's no shade where I go to wash my car. So I was like, let me just have them wash it. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I keep going to this place. They don't do it how they used to. So I need to find a new place to go. Yeah, that's good. It's a bit more tangy and sour than I'm used to, but it's literally the same thing that I always get, which is a mango pineapple with lemonade refresher like i said they didn't really do the best job so i just wanted to do it myself because all i really cared about was that the outside was clean the outside is pretty clean because i had a lot of bird poop back there i knew the windows and stuff i would want to take care of so we're just gonna buy the wipes and i'm just gonna go in a little more and clean up like i said i'm gonna go get my aunt run this quick errand I'm really hoping it doesn't take too long because i'm sorry people are not paying me to do this stuff <laughs> i'm not uber plus we still have to go to target and then i have things that i want to do later on so anyways i'll talk to you in a little bit 44 minutes to fall and you walked up to my door there's no slowing down as the globe spins around and around you gotta keep going gotta keep going if you think that i like falling those counting lines is that everything takes time you have gotta lose your mind everything will turn out fine so Oh, I love that song, but we're gonna pause it. It's 3:11. I just finished up with my aunt. It literally took us an hour to do that. Don't mind this. This is my air freshener thingy. Currently at the Target, and we have a list of what we're going in there for. If I get more than what's on my list, it's gonna be a problem. Which I know I'm gonna get more than what's on my list because I always do. I'm gonna try to limit myself to one book if I do stumble upon the book section, which I know I will because I always do. But um, yeah, we want to go in here real quick and do this. This is gonna be the last thing that I do before I go home i'm trying to think if there's anything else i have to do on this side but i don't think so so yeah let's go ahead and go in here real quick and hopefully be out by like four Okay guys, I'm about to give y'all a haul of everything I got in Target. I didn't film while I was in there because one, there was a screaming kid. And then I was just trying to get in and out, but it still took me a good hour to get everything. And I didn't even end up getting everything on my list. Target was not giving today. I'm gonna have to go to Staples sometime these next couple days to get the rest of my stuff. But we still got a good chunk of what I wanted to get. Like I was saying before, I needed some wipes for my car because I really want to just, you know, wipe everything down, especially after washing my car and them doing a half ass job or at least on the windows i want to go ahead and use some wipes to get rid of the rest of the gun so we got that also for the car i got some more febreze i'm not gonna put these on right now but i did want to have them the last thing i got for the car was this febreze fabric to go i'm gonna spray these on the chair this honestly smells so freaking good in general so i'm gonna put this all over the seats and then i'm just gonna keep this in here for times that i might need it moving on to all the school supplies that i got so i ended up getting three notebooks the notebook selection was not that good today for some reason i got this one in white ruled and yellow mainly because i like the pattern on them i don't know if you could really tell on camera we got the up and up brand because we don't need the five star okay it works the same then i just got a blue one and an orange one the only thing i would have to get is another notebook but i want to get like a two three subject notebook for the actual test that i'm studying for so that's something that i'm gonna have to buy down the line i ended up buying the seven year slip by ashley poston poston I don't know. This book has been on my TBR for so long and it's actually been sitting in my Amazon cart and Target cart for too long. So I saw it there and I just figured to get it. And I actually did good when it comes to books. I only bought one. Next, I got some pencils. Honestly, I did not need to buy two different packs, but um, I wanted to. This is the first one. These are so cute. And then we got these because these, honestly, they brought me back to like my high school, middle school days and I just wanted to be nostalgic. I ended up buying some shampoo because I actually ran out of shampoo and I need to wash my hair. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt one. This is the line that I've been using currently. I have the shampoo conditioner and the leave-in spray. So it's been working pretty well. I got some white out and then I got some erasers. The erasers aren't even really for me. They're for my brother because they be going through erasers like nothing. Thing. I don't know what they be doing with their pencils, but they erasers be gone and I'm just like 
how they always gotta erase something and that's all the school stuff that i got i just ended up buying some waffles because it's two for ten and some cliff bars because recently me and my mom have been going to the gym earlier in the day like 8 a.m 9 a.m in the morning and i just can't keep going to the gym with nothing in my stomach so i bought some cliff bars so that i can snack on those before our morning session that's everything that i got from target i'm gonna make my way home because i'm tired i'm hungry i really need to pee I know there's some lasagna waiting for me at the house. Okay, we're about to play some songs that I have been low-key obsessed with. <laughs> Not this one. And I cannot. This one. Oh, I love me some Chris Brown. Okay, let's go home. Safe and sound. Don't know when my nights became so complicated. Uh, now I have to sing a whole part. Okay. Maybe this is called my definition of JD. This day's on my mind. Trying to put a muzzle on my crazy feelings. Somebody knew I swear she don't deserve it Tell me did I lace you up Lace you up You tell me Is there someone else? It feels good to love somebody and somebody loves you back. But if you're one side and now you don't have to pretend about it cause it's crystal glint now now. I'll be better on my own. I'll be better on my own. Nah, nah. Oh, the traffic! Nobody should call my This is my last heartbreak song. This is my last heartbreak song. Nah, nah. Trying hard to, but can't even breathe A little bit of oxygen is all you need A little bit of mind control is what you need so hard, but damn my old way. He don't wanna be saved, don't save him. That is not my nigga, don't claim him. He don't wanna be kept, don't keep him. He don't want the paper, damn bitch, don't keep him. Ho, I'm the B A D D D S T. Same hoes, he used to wanna be besties. That's gonna be the ending of today's video. I was gonna include a day in my life, you know, in college, but we're just gonna save that for a whole different video, if that makes sense. I'm sorry this video is short, but I still wanted to post it because I actually really liked how it came out. I tried getting footage yesterday when I went to school. It's not long enough, so I couldn't even include it in this video, and I still wanna post today and try to be some type of consistent. Hopefully you guys still enjoy. Sorry for the abrupt ending. I know it's been happening a lot lately, not too much on me, but with that being said, I hope you guys still enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe follow me on my other socials which is always linked down below and i'll see you guys real soon with a new vlog